set up quality control samples, select quantification and select the use quality control option. A new page now appears in the method parameters. Go to quality control. This page allows us to set the failure and warning limits for quality control samples as well as the failure actions. Let's start by setting our blank tests. Click on the edit detection limits button. In this menu we enter the method detection limits for each element. I will set them as 0.05 parts per million for all wavelengths. When everything is correct, press close. The warning and failure limits can now be set and are derived by multiplying the detection limits we just set. So here a CCV sample is deemed a failure when its measured concentration is more than two times the detection limit, in this case greater than 0.1 ppm. A warning would be a concentration between one and two times the detection limit, in this case between 0.05 and 0.1 ppm. By moving to a different blank test, we can see that the limits can be varied from different sample types. Now let's look at the calibration verification tests. Here we can set the low and high warning and failure limits expressed as percentage recoveries of the sample concentrations. I will set the failure limits as plus and minus 20% and the warning limits as plus and minus 10%. So when we move to another sample type we can see that the limits can be varied for different sample types. The sample concentrations are defined in the standards page. To create a new standard, select new, then select elemental standard. Give the standard a name and if it contains all of the elements from your method list you can use the create standard using analyte list option, then press OK. Now enter the element concentrations. all of the required standards have been created. Return to quality control. Now let's define the actions to be performed on a QC failure. We can choose to ignore the failure and continue to the next sample. To rinse and repeat the QC sample. To recalibrate, recalculate and reacquire from the previous sample. To pause the experiment and wait for a manual restart. Or to abort the experiment and continue on to the next lab book in the queue. We can then choose another option if the QC were to fail again. And then a final option for continued failure. If a QC sample were to fail with these settings, firstly a rinse would be performed and the sample reanalyzed. If this were also to fail, a calibration would be performed and the repeated test recalculated against it. If this continued to fail, the instrument would abort the experiment and move on to the next lab book in the scheduler queue. There are several other types of quality control samples and limits that can be set. Let's have a look at the Regression Coefficient Verification, or RCV. Here we can set warning and failure limits for the R squared regression coefficient calculated from the calibration plot. I will set the warning limits as 0 0.999 and the failure limits as 0 0.995. the Relative Stability Verification, or RSV, for the relative standard deviation of the repeats of samples measured in either concentration, intensity, or both. In Internal Standard Test, or IST, low and high warning and failure limits can be set for the recoveries of internal standards. To add QCs to our sample list, go to Sample List. Click Add to add samples to the list. Label the samples. I will add a continuing calibration blank or CCB and a continuing calibration verification or CCV. For both samples, set the sample type as QC. For calibration verification tests, we must assign which standard the sample is made from. In this case, we will use the CCV standard we created earlier. The QC action defines which type of quality control test is being performed, here a CCB and CCV. The QC restart defines where the analysis should restart from following a QC failure. Choose to either move on to the next sample or to restart from the last QC that passed. 
We then assign the samples or to sample positions. Once the sample list is complete, press save. Add any comments and then press OK. Use the run button to add the lab book to the scheduler for analysis.